Hello, Forever Family. Until then, keep focus on what matters most for you. Hello Forever family and welcome to another episode of Forever Matters. I'm Nick Woodward Shaw and I'll be your host for the day. I'm excited to be here with you as we explore what's been happening around the forever world since the new year. So let's get straight into it. Let's begin with one of my favorite cities, Hong Kong, where I just recently returned from. We had over 200 FBOs celebrating the Chinese New Year with me and VP of Asia, CG Tan. I believe it's been almost four years since they had any executives in Hong Kong, and I must say the energy there was incredible. We have great expectations for this year, and it's the new year of the rabbit, which is sure to bring much prosperity to our Hong Kong FBOs. So now let's head over to Africa for some awesome business news. Recently, the Congo Zone celebrated their top performance as the first place in the management of the African supply chain. The Congo team, with Caesar Wilson, the logistics manager, as well as Roger Banza, our country manager there, won the best supply chain performance cup 2022 amongst all the African countries. This cup, awarded by Forever Direct, stands for awesome forecast results, excellent use of the FLPI system for a reliable optimum order quantity calculation, thorough inventory management, and of course, team spirit. The Congo Group has some complicating factors down there, which means their achievements are extra special. Congratulations. Senegal and Mali was very close to the Congo Group and finished second with East Africa Group, that's Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia, earning a very well-deserved third place. We're excited to see such concerted effort from our African companies and the relationship they have developed with Forever Direct to support business growth by the development of an efficient and reliable supply chain. Kudos to you all, guys. In February, Forever Romania celebrated 24 years of business with an anniversary success day attended by more than 1,100 participants. VP of Europe, Peter Boots, helped Romania celebrate this momentous occasion. And Holly Stout was also in attendance before she headed to Rome for their Forever kickoff event. Holly's passion for our products is contagious, as you know, and we can't wait to see the great things that come from her visits there. We also have over 1,400 FBOs in attendance in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan for their recent success day too. Malaysia just hosted their Winner's Circle celebration in Kuala Lumpur. They celebrated achievements of their top FBOs with a Bollywood-themed dinner uh, for our incentive qualifiers. The Passage to India theme carried significant importance and has served as a strong motivator for the Malaysian FBOs to strive to achieving FGR 24 qualification. I can't wait to see all of you in India. As you remember, we just recently held our Accelerate 4 event in the Dominican Republic. This was our first Accelerate event to be held in the DR and it truly was an a forever experience like no other. In addition to the exclusive executive level training, participants also had the opportunity to visit the aloe fields and the processing facility down there. This behind the scenes look at the plant to product to you process was a once in a lifetime opportunity for all of our participants. We were so pleased with the motivation that this training prompted that we're already looking at scheduling the next event there. So stay tuned for more details on how you can take part in the next Accelerate training. We're now heading back to Romania to see the newest Sapphire managers there. Ayanut and Georgiana Stro, who are also the number one FBOs in Forever Romania for both non-manager and total case credits for 2022. It's the first time in Forever Romania history that this position belongs to the same FBO. Ayanut and Georgiana are also 5K Global Rally qualifiers for the second time in a row, as well as being qualified for Gems Bonus. What a great achievement. Way to go, Ayanut and Georgiana. We're going to head all the way to Japan now to recognize Kayuama Fujikawa. Kayama is one of the top leaders in Japan and our newest double diamond manager. Kayama has shown continued growth and is working hard to develop new managers every single day. 
She wants her team to experience the world of forever and is encouraging all of her managers to qualify for both the Global Rally and the Eagle Managers Retreat. Congratulations, Kayama. Keep up the growth mindset and we look forward to seeing you in Bali. Now it's time for some more recognition with the top 10 global case credits for January 2023. And in 10th place from Austria, Robert Chalupka. Congratulations, number nine from Hungary, Attila Gidofalvi. Next up, Joël bonafoy poly from France. Number seven is Philip Ritter from Switzerland. And living in the Middle East at number six is Mariola Haider. Number five from India, Krishna Arora. Number four, Kautar Taiju from Morocco. Number three from Japan is Etsuko Motosuji. And in second place for the top global group volume for January from Germany is Rolf Kipp. And our number one total group volume for January 2023 from Japan, Hanami Takagi. Congratulations. And now for our top 10 open group for January 2023. In 10th place from Poland, it's Jakub Olazowski. In 9th place from the USA, Katie Miller. Number 8 is Alona Kompanitsk from Israel. And in 7th place from Moldova, it's Marina Karnat. In 6th place, it's Maria Fabiola Casto from Italy. Congratulations to our number 5 total group volume from Poland, Joanna Kamaretz. In fourth place from Kyrgyzstan, it's Zarina Turjanova. And congratulations in third place, Mariola Haider from the UAE. And in second place from Japan, Hanami Takagi and our number one for January 2023 in open group volume from Morocco, it's Kautar Taiju. Congratulations to all of our January 2023 achievers. Keep up the good work and we hope to see your name on the list next month. So the product highlight this month is gonna take us back to basics and focus on consumption. So let's stop and think about how many products you consume in the first hour of your day. I know I use seven or eight, and I think that most of us will start with some of the da same daily products. Now, one of my favorite products that I like to use every single day is the Forever Bright Tooth Gel. And I hope each of you brush your teeth several times a day. So why wouldn't you use our tooth gel and have it in your cabinet? It's an easy way to remind ourselves of the amazing quality of the Forever products. And it's also an affordable one that we can recommend to new customers very easily. The unique green color is a fun way to engage your children and explain the many benefits that both aloe and bee propolis can have to our oral hygiene. So stay mindful of daily use and see how you can become a product of the product with Forever Bright Tooth Gel. Well, that's all I have for you today in this episode of Forever Matters. We made it through another forever journey around the globe and be sure to tune in next time for more great happenings. Until then, remember to stay focused on what matters most to you.